coming out of his nose. Yeah. And then when I was in Panama, they called it a Mexican bard snapper. So they got a lot of different names. When you start traveling and fishing, you, you'll realize that there's the same fish with multiple names. So we got a nice little hole of fish for our first few dives of the day. Pull that from his anal cavity. <laughs> you got go, it from his butt go, go, go back in there. Like, I felt something hard in there, and I just scoop it out with my finger. You know what? So, the people in Mag Bay, when they commercial lobster, they actually bait the lobster traps with these, and the lobsters eat them. And apparently, so do these fish. <laughs> Fun fact. Right now we're going to probably about 65, 80 feet. A um, little bit out of my range, but hopefully there's some midwater fish swimming around. 
um, all the other divers who hit 70, 80, so it should be a good spot for them and hopefully we can come up with some big fish. But you guys, we're just getting started. They can be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they're ganging up on us. Coop, coop. I don't like it, dude. We just went to check out another spot and as soon as we got in the water four seals came right up on us as you guys saw in the video and at first it was like kind of cool because they came close but then they were just acting a little timid like they weren't really being playful they were kind of like coming up and charging like one came vertical up on me and so all of us were just kind of like yeah this isn't this isn't cool and nikki said if they blow bubbles it's kind of a sign of like you know aggression possibly so we're gonna go ahead and leave those seals there because the last thing we need is a seal incident or a bite yeah, like in the middle of nowhere in Mexico they so they're all right there just circling on the surface I wonder if seals are territorial either way I think that was a pretty sick experience though not gonna lie that one big one came vertical on me it was, yeah. it was like Hey, you gonna stop? And I'm like, holy smokes! Stop stopping! <laughs> that was more spookier than a bull shark going vertical. Hi, Carumba. Okay, hey, Carumba Grande. The seals are attacking. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was interesting. That was super, super not cool. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they're literally following us, like making sure that we leave. You know, there was like a 120 pound broom tail right there, right? Yeah, yeah maybe. It definitely was. The seals were guarding it. It's 
doing down there? Taking a nap. Oh, someone's so tired. <laughs> After the seal show, we hit a few more dive spots, and unfortunately, it was a pretty slow day, so Zach and I stayed in the boat for this dive. And I wish I would have recorded it, but Cooper said a prayer, uh, praying to baby Jesus, as he says. So now this spot is called baby Jesus because as he makes this dive that you guys are watching now, he shoots a once in a lifetime fish. You guys just wait for it. Oh my god, you're best, you're best. Dude, he's big. He's really big. Oh my goodness. What does your watch say? It was 134.79. 79 feet for a minute and 34 seconds? Yeah. Good job. Is it a big broom tail? Very big. Ah, Where's Cooper. my mask? I'm getting back in. Go back oh my god, he's a stud. He's so big. Oh man, I feel like I gotta go in and film this. Big boy! <laughs> Cooper just shot a massive broomtail grouper. Yeah, yeah, second shot, second shot, second shot, in the head, in the head. CJ just called for a second kill shot, Nikki just dove down. Yeah, yeah, second shot, second shot, second shot, in the head, in the head. This just went zero to a hundred really freaking quick. Literally. Today's been just kind of a slow day. Like we're just picking up, moving different spots, checking it out. No fish, no fish, no fish. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah! I did not think you were gonna stay down there for that shot, dude. I wasn't going back up. <laughs> oh my god. How much does that thing weigh? Uh, hold on. Do some curls real quick. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have when you don't have a scale. Dude, she's like maybe maybe 10, 15 pounds heavier. Dude, do the same thing. I'm good. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> Thanks. Perception. <laughs> So, I don't know, I, I, it might be like an 80 pound grouper. Say 78 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna go with 81.7. All right. Congratulations. 
congratulations on your 80 pound fish, Coop. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the green in the eye. Get up. Get up, man. This is the broomtail, the little broomtail. Solid, nice. So Johnny's no, making us not. dinner right now with our amarillo snapper, which is the meat that we have. Oh wait, no, no, I lied. This is the fish I shot, and then the amarillo is the head the that's head. in the soup. Yes. Correct. We have poner este pescado. Es el pargo amarillo. And we have both. It's pargo amarillo and ah, pargo yeah. rocaro. Este es el coconaco. It's your fish. Yes. It's, 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 it's for the soup. <laughs> And I put the the head from the amarillo yeah. for the flavor because this is small. The another head is bigger and no cabe in, in, in this cup. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is that the biggest pot we have? <laughs> yes. Beautiful. But the head is a lot of flavors for the fish. Mm -hmm. If you want a soup, you put the the head. Yes. So I actually really, really, really love fish head soup. I actually have a video on my channel uh, making fish head soup. So you want to boil down the head so all of that fat and oils come out into the soup and make that broth. And then you remove the head and then you want to pick out all the meat. If you want to, you can pick out the meat and everything and put them back into the soup. Or you can just discard the head. Um, there's a little bit of head meat right there. Are you gonna pick some of the meat out? Yes, I'm always wondering, like, got a big gulp. So that's, see the little oil spots in there? That's the juices from the head, which is going to be absolutely delicious. Yeah, uh, We have, are we doing sashimi? Oh, is this the broomtail right here? Yeah. Yeah. Is broomtail. So we have Zach's broomtail, the smaller one that was shot earlier in the video, for some sashimi, which is gonna be delicious. I've never eaten. <laughs> grouper raw before so this should be that super interesting Cooper says he loves eating grouper raw yes muy bien muy bien si 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 claro si 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 muy bien delicioso going through footage delicioso. right now si sí, señor uh, si sí, señor we'll Perfect. see you guys when dinner's on the plate <laughs> head meat's the best meat oh, yeah. look at that tongue <laughs> we can eat the tongue Mm. That's actually really good. Is it? I've had cow tongue before and it's pretty good. Mm. Oh, that's a scale. Yummy. This is like my favorite way to eat fish is just to like take the meat off the bone. Ow, that's still this hot. This is probably like... Okay. Here's the little bottom jaw. Ooh. I just ate the tongue out. Oh, did it really taste okay? It was actually good, yeah, it was super tender. Dang, Dang this, is, this fish head has been sitting on the counter for like 20 minutes too and it's still smoking. These look like little chips, mm. like y'all. I should try one, Does it, are they crunchy? <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're crunchy. They're <laughs> not really edible. Mm. Eyeball? <laughs> eyeball? No, the little, the cheap No, place. try the eyeball. Mm. I don't like eyeball, but like, I, I've heard the juices. It's actually, in some countries, it's just respectful not to eat that fish with eyeball. But I, are you supposed part? to eat the hard part? No. It's not hard, it's crunchy. I don't know, I've eaten a whole eyeball before. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh, it's a gummy. Ew. Ah. Oh. I'll finish it. <laughs> We're not quitters. Just like you proved in the water today. 
and he was about to die. Who's eating the other one? Here. What is that? Cheek. Mm. Why don't you feed me like that? With eyeball? It's pretty tasty. Man, why are you gotta call me out? Do it. Alright, fine. It's like, oh, that's hot. I know, it's still yeah. smoking whole thing. There you go. Oh, the lens. Don't eat the lens. The white thing? White thing's in there. Eat the lens. Oh man. Oh yeah. It's like a really bad Why is it jawbreaker. Juicy? Oh man. It it smells in. fishy. <laughs> it comes from a fish. Oh, sorry. Yes, in the oh yeah, mm. chew it. When you make um soup or <laughs> fry it. The, the oaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They, yes. Oh, there's... The people in... No, it's muy delicious. The, the head is... <laughs> they suck all the juice out? Yes. Like a shrimp? Like a... No, 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 it's like hard. No, 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 no. I don't know. It's obvious. <laughs> now I just feel like I'm chewing on plastic. It just tastes like chalk. Like, it just chalk. It's it tastes chalky. like when you borrow your friend's gum that they've been chewing for like 20 minutes <laughs> because you don't have any more. <laughs> you know what I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just me. That's exactly what it tastes like. Is this a I'll potato? Oh, I got a potato. Down, but oh. potato, or potato. I'm washing down the eyeball with some potato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uploading Cooper's footage right now. We'll see what you got going on over here. Ooh. Wow. So beautiful. Mexican sashimi. Mexican sashimi. Yeah, Johnny. You're, you're so beautiful. beautiful. Like Thank you. I was like, Thank you, señor. Muy bien. Tú también eres muy bonito. That sounded like <laughs> something good. <laughs> like a so compliment. Good. So good. Oh my goodness. Pulse. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm
some locals pulled up to the boat actually and gave CJ um, some numbers and some pinnacles that he's never heard of before. And the pinnacle is supposed to come up to 40 feet. So we're gonna go ahead and check that area for some wahoo or pelagics or whatever fish are hanging out around there, um, which should be really cool. So we, in exchange, we gave them some beer and soda, uh, which works out great. So, you know, these waters off of the Baja Peninsula are pretty remote, if you ask me. I mean, there's not a lot of people hammering these spots. So there's definitely a lot of fish here, but I'm super excited to see what the next few days is gonna hold because this place is just incredible. The people, so nice, and it's just, it's a really good time, so. Anyways, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below. And I'm gonna finish my dinner because it's looking good and it's getting cold. 